What's going on, everybody? It's the Mid Myth Legend Beast. It's all Brawl 16 here. And today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to completely shut down the run. I probably should have done this video first, but um, I'm gonna show you guys how to completely shut it down, not contain it, not slow it down, but completely shut it down. So you're gonna want to be in the three four odd, and you're gonna want to choose Edge Blitz because this play is better than four four split, better than cover four drop show two. It's better than engage eight, and as we all you know pretty much figure, it's better than run committing because run committing does not work. But all you want to do is pinch your line, crash them down, spread your linebackers, and then use her to save. You can press; you don't really have to, you know. But um, if you have the corners or, you know, if you're just feeling, you know, like you you want to run commit, then this is basically the setup. This this setup that I showed you, that's basically the new run commit. Now, if you run this play stock, it's pretty good. You don't have to press, but I'm going to show you guys the play stock. The, the trick to this play is that how that looping linebacker and that looping DN just work together. It's absolutely phenomenal. Now, I tried many other plays with the same concept, and it wasn't quite the same as man. Man is just the best way to stop the run this year in general. But you see how that looping linebacker just comes absolutely free and untouched. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm going to show you guys against the other stretch and wing flex close because, again, that's, you know, in the Raiders playbook, it's probably one of the most popular stretches. So, again, crash down, pinch, spread your linebackers. You can press if you want. In this formation, you might want to be careful because they have a vertical that can go into a real uh, wheel route. But that's basically why you want to use her to safety. Now, I have this. I don't want to call him a bum because, you know, it's my team. But it's not Pat Tillman and Brian Dawkins. That's all I'm saying. But typically, if you have, you know, a better linebacker. Like, I know we're getting a new Ray Lewis soon. But uh, if you have like Pat Tillman with Enforcer, Dawkins, you know, you have Willie Lanier or Patrick Willis or, you know, soon to be Ray Lewis or, you know, or I think that was Jenkins on that one. But, you know, if you have some hard hitters, you know, on the team, then you're going to get a free and clean hit. Now, obviously, you might be asking, well, gee, brothers, where they just flip the play? It works either way. I strongly recommend having auto flip on because, you know, having auto flip is just, it's pretty good this year, actually. It actually really helps in a lot of blitzes and a lot of plays. But uh, you see right here, it's, it's flip. The play is going to the other side. I mean, it works the same way. I mean, why wouldn't it? As long as you blitz that other side linebacker, you'll be straight. You know, I mean, it, it's still the same play. Now, you don't have to press. Okay, I just want people to know that you don't have to press. I press because, you know, my corners are good enough, you know, to get back there. Plus, you know, I guess my user is pretty decent. But a lot of people, you know, they're not they're not feeling, you know, pressing because pressing can lead to some disastrous results, especially if you're pressing Randy Moss. I strongly don't recommend you do that, no matter who you got. But I'm going to show you guys that, you know, it works, you know, pretty much the same, you know. Uh, you're not going to get that instant, like, heat. You know, well, not heat, but you know, that instant like blush it, but I mean, it's still pretty palpable. So I just wanted to let you guys know that you don't have to press, but it's better if you do, if you're like 100% sure it's going to be a run, and then I strongly recommend pressing. But um, last but not least, what if it's a dive? What if it's not a stretch? Because not everyone's, you know, going to run stretch. They might audible to a dive. It works the same way. That's why you're using the free safety. I mean, it's, just, it's a pretty, pretty simple, you know, run play once you get it down. So, again, pinch, crash, spread your linebackers, and then you don't have to press. But you see, you get a free hit. And if you have someone that's not this, for lack of a better word, um, developing player, then that's a hit stick. If you have Pat Tillman with Enforcer and uh, Unfakeable Secure Tackler or whatever, Supreme Tackler, Oh, that's a, that's a hit stick. That that's whoo. That that's a beat, boy. So thank you guys for watching this video. Like and subscribe if you liked this video. Found it helpful. Just like if you did not. And I'm gonna be coming out with a safer way to stop the run. You know, just in case you feel like they might pass. But see you guys. Peace out.